Yo guys, how's it going today? Burke Crown coming out of the YouTube video and today is going to be nothing about hockey. I'm not going to be covering hockey one bit. Today is going to be about X Defiant. So I was playing a game. As we know, X Defiant has recently been coming out and it is free for anybody to go and get. And people have been asking me what it's like. Now I've played it for a couple of days to give it my good all, give it a good opinion and take a good breakdown of it. So we're going to run some gameplay in the background as I talk about X Defiant. If this is a game you guys are interested in or have tried, put in the comment section down below what you think. But let's get into it. Watch this gameplay and you guys get ready for it because I think it's not bad. But let's check it out. We'll talk about the pros and cons that I think this game has. Okay, so what you're going to be seeing here, we're going to be doing the game mode Occupy. And if you're going to think, hey, this is kind of familiar to some game modes in other games, it is. So you'd call, consider it hard point, I guess you'd say. It's a, it's a location that everybody fights for and moves around. They have this, they have escort, and they have capture, which is like domination. So they do have a couple of game modes that are kind of like it, it's it's similar um, escort is like overwatch where it kind of does a, you know you got to take a thing from one point to another you either got to stop them from doing it or you got to you got to get it there but this one here is occupy and you're going to notice that we're just fighting over one location it'll move around but something you're going to notice and that i've really noticed in this game is time to kill or ttk and the time to kill is a bit long it is a bit long it feels kind of like halo in that in that regard or like you know a little longer than fortnite's time to kill it's like you're breaking through shields um you really got to hit your shots it's it's extremely important you hit your shots and you got to hit the head if you go for body you're gonna have to take an entire clip to mow somebody down um but if you hit if you can get a good couple of shots in the head you'll notice they go quickly and uh they, they, you can get through them pretty fast, but you're going to notice here that the, the, the location switched. Now, other than that, the movement I find is very good. The graphics are extremely good, and the gunplay is really good. Now, this is all for a free game. Like the, the movement is phenomenal. I have no problem moving around. I don't feel slow or sluggish. I don't feel like the movement's too fast. It's actually, I, I'm starting to think it's a little slower than Call of Duty, the way they move around. Now, the bunny hopping... The bunny hopping still a thing. People still do the bunny hop. Pretty aggressive. They still jump around. They still bounce around. And, you know, if you're good at that kind of stuff, you're good at it. Uh, drop shots isn't something I've seen. Nobody's been drop shotting. Nobody's been diving. Uh, you don't you don't really see much of that. So you don't have to worry about, you know, getting into a gunfight with somebody and drop shotting. Now, if you are good with snipers, this game is for you. Because the snipers are pretty much a one-shot kill. If you can get a good body shot or head shot with a sniper, it's going to drop them immediately. And if you're good with a sniper, you will dominate this game. Because I feel like even there's not much of a flinch. Even if you're sitting there and you're just mowing somebody down with your uh, machine gun or your light machine gun, your assault rifle, whatever you're using. Here I'm using the M4A1. But if you just mow somebody down and they got a sniper rifle, as they're getting hit, if they can get a shot off on you and that hits you, you will you will uh, you will die before they die. So you know if you're good with sniper rifles, this might be your game. But you're seeing here we're running around this map. This the maps are very um, messy, if you will. Um, it, it's not like your typical Call of Duty maps where you've got like your three lane battle combat modes. Now Call of Duty's been drifting away from that a little bit to this kind of style, but this is chaotic. There is entrance points everywhere. There is lanes everywhere. There is different elevations in every map. So you got to worry about one, two, sometimes three different elevations, and you got to worry about lanes everywhere. Corner checking isn't really that big because campers aren't really i haven't noticed any campers in this game but there is just lanes coming from everywhere so you're seeing here as we're running around we don't really have to check corners we can get from point a to point b pretty quick but there is like there's there's four areas right now five areas right now that i could be shot from and it's just it's impossible right here is a like a bubble shield and what that does is nobody can shoot me from my right while that bubble shield is up. So it protects you. And if somebody threw a grenade at you, it would bounce off of it. So the bubble shield is pretty good. And that's under the Phantom category. Uh, the Phantom is all I've really used. I haven't gotten into the, any of the abilities of somebody else. This fire guy is, is really overpowered. I, I want to get into him so I can give him a try. But he is, uh, he's really overpowered. I think the fire guy needs uh, needs to be dialed back a little bit. So if you wanted to give anybody a try, give him a try. He like, he launches this robotic airplane out 
and as it goes out, it like shoots napalm on the ground or it shoots some sort of gas on the ground, some sort of flammable object that you know it lights you on fire. It's like a flying flamethrower that that guy launches at you, and he's uh, he's pretty OP. But here you're gonna see we do a good job of locking down this hard point. You know, you're getting good points, we're getting good shots off, and uh, getting good kills. And I, I'm adapting to this game fairly well. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I am enjoying it. And now I only play like four games at most, five games sometimes um, a day. But I am adapting to it fairly well. We're, we're, we're learning how to play. It's a very team-oriented game. That's another point that I wanted to talk about. Go in with a party if you can. Because hard point, you can't hold hard points by yourself. Capture, um, capture you can try, but uh, it, it you need a team to help you. You need two team. You need to split up your team so you can have one on A, one on B, or one on B, one on C. And then escort is full on a team mode. So like you need to go in with a party because like one guy, it's not Call of Duty team deathmatch. One guy is not carrying you to a win in this. There, you can have one really good teammate, but he's not gonna solo the job. You need to work together as a squad and uh, go over the best you can do. And communication and everything like te teamwork in this game is, uh, is important with the game modes that they have selected. I haven't tried ranked. I don't know if it's out yet, but I'm, I'm interested and I'm curious to try rank. And uh, what you've seen on that guy there was a bubble. That was a bubble that went around him. There's that flamethrower. There's that flamethrower. It was a bubble that went around him and it protects him 360. But see that flamethrower come in and leave fire on the ground? Like if you had to touch that fire, it would kill you. And that flamethrower kills you right away. And there he is again with the flamethrower. The, the, the fire guy is OP. Give him a try. You will enjoy it. But we are down in this game. We started really slow. And you see we're slowly fighting our way back. And we're about to get a lead. And that's Jack in front of me there. He uh, he was doing a good job. He, he holding sights and everything. We'd hold together. We were working together on different angles. Because, like, you see this site here. There is seven ways on just this site alone on how you can get to get to the people trying to hold the site. I got the door behind me. I got the stairway to my left. I got the door to my right. I got down below at the far left. And I got the two doors that Jack was covering. So, like, they, they do a good job at making sure it's almost impossible to hold down a site. Now, I'm trying to break through a shield here. I know that's not going to happen. But, you know, in the heat of the fight, you give it a whirl. Uh, you see here in the middle of, my, of the screen, I have my alt, which is just your two bumpers. You're going to push them together, and it's going to surround, surround you in a shield. Now, if they run into your shield, you can, uh, you, they can still shoot you, and you can die. But I, I haven't figured out the gun they give you for that shield. Now, what I said, what I was saying here is I'm like, I'm going to use my alt. And here's my alt. I'm using it on sight. And somebody got a grenade in on me here. And the grenade damaged me, but it didn't kill me. So I'm down to eight health. And then the fire guy launches that plane into my alt. And that, uh, that killed me. So, the, the, like, it all comes back to the fire guy. I think the fire guy is OP. Now, you see a lot of phantoms because they got their shields, and people love the shields. Escort, shield, the phantom shield guy is great in escort because if you get three or four guys with them, you can drop the shields like five feet, five feet, five feet, and that helps you move the thing along. But uh, all I've seen is the phantom guy and the fire guy. I don't really see much of the other group. I just don't know if anyone's figured out how to use them yet or if they're just not strong enough. Maybe uh, we'll see the phantom, or maybe we'll see the fire guy, sorry. Get a uh, get a drop down, a decrease, like a nerf, and then the uh, the other the other group get a buff there because nobody uses that other group. But this game, it started out slow. We're kind of pulling it back. We we I think we lose this. I think we lose this. Just trying to get some damage on body because like time to kill is a lot. Your grenades are really important. If you can get your grenades into a group and chunk down everybody's health, you'll find it a little bit easier. Kind of like Halo. Um, that's where I re remember it from or recall it from your health regen So it's not like you're gonna get shot and then that's your health until you die Like I'm at 79 health if I had a pulled out of this fight and went around a wall It would regen to 120 health and then I could get back into the fight and that would be less of a death But uh, yeah, like we're just gonna try to push this again He's got his alt up. So I'm just gonna see you're gonna see me poke around the corner. I only got 18 health So I'm gonna hang on that guy died, but in comes the fire plane he didn't know I was there, but he was assuming, like, that's good map awareness. He was assuming that there was going to be someone there and uh, throw that in there. But it's 207 right now to 196 and or 167, sorry. So we need to hold the location for a significant amount of time. 
and they're just they're all over everything like this team we played they were working together well they were getting two locations while we were fighting for the old location but this one here we held it once really well and and we do it again here like we pick up a lot of points on this location defending it fairly well so we got the guy with the shield he should be over with me protecting like protecting me while i'm shooting because we got that shield to our right he should be with me but i do kind of an okay job holding there and then i get shot i believe from that side that i'm looking at right now i'm going to stick out here i'm going to keep an eye on there and then this shield's going to drop and i think i'm going to get shot is what how i think this game went the shields are your utils are extremely important in this game extremely important and uh there's more flamethrower action so grenades shields flamethrowers whatever character you're using i just the utilities and teamwork is the most important part of this game but for a free game guys for a free game this game is unreal i'm enjoying it um if you haven't tried it i suggest you try it you download it you give it a go you give give it a couple of days get yourself 20 games in before you give it an opinion because the first three games in i did not like this game one bit i did not like the time to kill i didn't like a lot about this game but as i figured out the maps as i figured out the utilities and i figured out everything about this game i'm starting to get a little better at it starting to be at the top a little bit more starting to get the mvp a little bit more but unfortunately we lose this game it was uh, it was a good effort it was a good team fight it was fun but yeah like the shield is so important and uh yeah so good team effort and you know just just focus on your utils and give it some time to get but that's the gameplay guys i really do enjoy this game i really do enjoy this game but what got me is giving it time to play it giving it time to learn everything about it giving it time that's the biggest thing here it's a free game download it give it a try play at least 15 to 20 games before you give it any judgment or before you give up on it because i was three games in and i wanted to give up on this game but i stuck with it and now i absolutely love it and i'll probably be playing a couple more games tomorrow so if you want to check that out or if you want to come play the games with me tomorrow burt crown 88 on twitch hope to see you there play around noon but uh thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoy it until next time ciao ciao